<laughs> versus Trump. <laughs> Obama. <laughs> <laughs> dude, they might be summoning the most powerful being. They could. Dude. It's like fuck, dude. Lori Lightfoot. I might bend. I might Lori bend Lightfoot. <laughs> Lori Lightfoot, fresh off her Chicago. If someone L. kneecaps her. If someone fucking like cripples her. <laughs> Did you ever see dressed up in the superhero costume? <laughs> I would bend the knee. She dressed up as a COVID destroyer or something like that, oh. and she wore a superhero outfit. Oh my god, dude! If, if the Dems roll out like a black midget in a wheelchair, I would be Game of Thrones, where I would just go, "Oh, it, bam, 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 my bam, lord, bam, 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 my bam, lord, the king of the north, <laughs> Obama." <laughs> Sona, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> she dressed up, dude. She mean, looks like fucking Beetlejuice. <laughs> God damn it, dude! That stinks. <laughs> she was doing a press conference. She was like, I'm, "I destroy COVID." <laughs> uh, oh, dude! Has she lost it? The Rona Destroyer. Has she completely lost it? That was her press comment. She was the Rona Destroyer. Oh, yeah. oh. She she did lose. Well, she actually lost. She's out. She's done? Yeah, she lost. She's still the Rona Destroyer, though. She will forever be the Rona Destroyer. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm Jesus all, Christ. I'm stuck on this guy. Is that her white wife? She's a white wife? She's got a white wife. Man, Wasn't that's... she the one who was... She cheats on her white wife? She better not cheat on her white wife. Her white queen? Wasn't she the one saying she would only talk to minority reporters? Sweet. That's so fucking disrespectful to your white wife. <laughs> she cheats on her white wife? Obama. Dude, what if she cheat on her white wife with people in wheelchairs? <laughs> Sorry. Soda! <laughs> Sorry. Dude, I know it's annoying. I, it's Lori the best Lo video. No, I can't best. stop doing it. Imagine being Lori Lightfoot's white wife, dude. And you see the text and it's like, dude, you're just fucking... I felt so free when I was pushing you down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be a big star one day in the Democrat, in the Democrat Party. <laughs> That's that's the only Democrat meme I've seen that I like. Yeah, it's pretty fucking good. People always say like they're always like conservatives aren't funny. No, nah, they've in the meme like, in the yeah. internet realm, conservatives dominate the left. Oh, dude, above and be it goes above and beyond. What? That's been that's been since 2016. Since oh. Trump, yeah, since Trump. for sure. Since Trump, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it used to be the De the Dems used to used to crush. Not a, no, well, not on the Whoa. internet. Yeah, yeah, on like TV. Yeah, <laughs> back when remember yeah. when we thought talk show hosts yeah. were funny. Amy Eshelman is she's a tall lady. Yeah, that's that's Who's Amy Lori Eshelman. Oh, Lori Lightfoot's wife. Oh. I miss Please, you. <laughs> Dude, the pleasure is all I was, mine. I was, uh, I was out to dinner with Brittany recently, and there just so happened to be uh, a, a table next to us that was just studs with their girlfriends. It was young black lesbians with their girlfriends, and the whole time I was like, "Holy shit, Brit!" I was like, "I was like, I wish we were at that table right now." And I was a stud, and you were my hot girlfriend, dude. I started fucking studding out at our table just because, dude, it was like. The po it's like such a sick fucking like slouch posture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, dude, I'd be the stud over there. And I kept trying to go stud for stud. She's like, dude, stop. Stop matching the studs. And I was like, it's a fantasy. You can't line. match the studs. Bro, I was trying to match their swag. It's tough. Uh, it's tough. Yeah. Just lean. Hang on. Sam, Sam's a stud. Sam J. Yeah. It's a good stud. Yeah, dude. It, the swag's on infinity. The all swag the time. is fucking nice. It's on infinity. I was like, I was telling Brady, I'm like, dude, this is insane, man. I got to step it up. They could steal my girls so quick, dude. It's fucking sick. Yeah, the studs were out, dude. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at who's going to run for president against Soda. Oh, of the Dems? Yeah. But they wouldn't run Kamala? Michelle. Michelle Obama? They, I mean, dude, if they, they could win if they did. If they do run Michelle, that's going to be. That's going to be trouble. She's going to win. Michelle Obama? Yeah, yeah, dude. I'd vote for her. <laughs> you would. <laughs> I would have to vote for her. You'd, you'd have to. 
I don't know. You think they'll go? I don't think they're going to go Michelle Obama though, unless if they. Um, it's the only one that's a definite win. It's yeah. the only one that's a win. Yeah, but she was, was she a politician? No, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, Trump's fucking. Yeah, but Trump did what he did. Yeah, I'm reading right now, or I don't even read them. I'm just watching this guy's YouTube, uh, and he's all about hyper modernity. How we're in a new space now, like a completely we're a, a new age has dawned upon us. He's claiming Trump's the first hyper modern president. The first president to fully integrate. I, the it internet. bothers me when we everybody keeps talking like this time, mm-hmm. you know, the time we're in now. We're we're the most unique of all time, dude. It is. It's no. It's the internet. Yeah, the internet. Well, the way it, it literally, dude. You saw Lori Lightfoot's picture. Yeah, no politician would dress like that. That's because of the internet. The media. Yeah, but, she's per, no, the I understand it's different, but there's always been a change in every single. Generation. For sure. For sure. Think of this. There's sixties. They're like color TV. Yeah. We're on TV now. We have to act different. It's modernism. That was a giant jump. It all t- yeah, exactly it was a huge one. Yeah, but there's jumps in every generation, every year, every every decade like that since the fucking industrialization. For sure, this is modernism, postmodernism. Now we're in hypermodernism, and I would, I'm telling you, dude, they, the guy does a thing where he talks about the first like real celebrities through color television, how most of them just lost their fucking minds and went nuts. <laughs> they were like ingesting their images through a television. Like what the fuck? Now he's saying that. Every single person now has to deal with their, like, you know, yeah. their 2D image and their, like, their pictures and videos. And they're, they don't know what's going to happen, but, like, we're in a new age. Which, yeah, for sure. They, everyone does that. Yeah. Everyone always is like, this is the end of the world. This is... Trump was Trump was a definite changer, though. He he did... He changed the yeah. way people do politics. I swear to God, he changed Andrew it. Jackson did it. Yeah. Bugged out. He did it. He was talking shit. Party, he was in yeah. the paper. He was, yeah. Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps it, it is perhaps it is all the same, but yeah, I, I do like that. Of course it's of course it's not the same, but I do notice there's always people like we're in a new age. New age. It's like, yeah, we are. Yeah. We've always every time. It's For always sure. a new age. For sure. It's just something people like to do. They like to be like, This is the end of the world. This is this. This is, I don't think it's the end of the world. This it's is just, the worst things have ever been. This is the best thing. I don't ever. think it's the end of the world. It's just there's it's bringing about unique situations and how it'll affect everyone. Because I know like apparently like dude like girl like teen girls are losing their minds because of social media. It's pretty much altered politics the way now like the way politicians are just like taken in their images, they shift yeah. their whole persona to fit the medium. That's like the Marshall McLuhan thing. Like people fit people change themselves to adapt to the medium they're going to be perceived through. Yes. So like, that's why like now they have like presidents can't be like, like we don't have fat presidents anymore. Yeah. Once TV hit, it was like JFK, blah, blah, blah. Although Christie was pretty, he's a, he's a, pretty he's going for it, but he didn't win. True. But he, he didn't win. Trump dog he, was a unit. Trump was a unit. Trump's a unit. He dude. is. A unit. And honestly, Christie could have won if he didn't fuck up the traffic. <laughs> Christie could have won. Could, I'll never dude, let it go. That's your vote. I'll he never lost let, your vote forever on that, but he got dogged by oh, Trump. Oh, yeah, when he had Trump to kiss the ring. fucked him, dude. <sighs> Made him kiss the ring, and then at one of the rallies, oh. he was like, you can go now. It's like, <laughs> holy fuck. <laughs> Didn't he switch political parties because of it? He was no, a Republican. He's still a Republican. Was he always a Republican? I don't know if he always He's was. like an MSNBC darling. Isn't he on like one of those channels? He sits on one of those morning shows. He's, Does I, he? I think he like... Republican, he Republican. You think he's more soda now than Obama. I think he's more soda now. He's just on. He's on one of those morning shows, and he's like, yeah, uh, yeah. Chris Christie. Last I saw, he was on one of those like morning like MSNBC type shows. Yeah, they do that. Like, it was like him and like Jesse Jackson or something. Not Jesse, whatever. One of the yeah, Al Sharpton. Sharp, yeah, one of those guys. <laughs> one of those race baiting motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, it was like him. Al, it was a complete freak show. It was him, Al Sharpton, and then his two like mindless fucking ladies. <laughs> More than two ladies. morons. Dude. <laughs> oh wow, I agree. It's Chris Christie being like, oh, "I'm a good boy." The View gets me. The View gets some good clips. Yeah, the View will have some good. They were all blaming the the train thing on Trump. Were they really about the brakes? It's fun to watch. Yeah, like he should have ordered better they put brakes. Out some rough takes, dude. He cut the budget for the brakes on the trains. <laughs> yeah, they put out some dumb takes. Those guys. We that, don't. Nah, we're fucking straight at you. And honestly, <laughs> we'd be like, hey, you know, we were wrong about that. Yeah, you'll never get that from the view. We're the antithesis of the view. True. All male. Yeah. All logic. All reason. All truth. <laughs> 
Dude, going on the view. Norm on the view was so good. <laughs> Norm? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Norm was pretty good on the view. They attacked him. Yeah. They started. To... I mean, <laughs> my thing is like obvious comedy legend. He goes on and all of a sudden, what's the reaction to the real, the true? Yeah. Comedy legend. They spaz and freak. That's like Luciferian shit, dude. They see a guy, yeah, just the a green, real good the guy, skulls. and they all went, yeah, they were like, <laughs> yeah. You should, ah. That shit's fucking sickening. You shouldn't say that about the Clintons. Yeah, dude. You should laugh and what? say, yeah, who cares? Fuck those guys. What did he say when he said he got in trouble for saying retard? And he was like, I'd have to have fucking Down syndrome to say that. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, That's, you can't say that either. He's like, all right, my man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Politics is, uh, it, it remains gay. Yeah. It's exciting, though. I'm excited to see. It's, it's a be spectacle. Fun. It's a complete spectacle. It's going to be fun now. Yeah, it's going because it's also now it's like please run Biden, dude. Where can it possibly go from here? Biden runs that shit. Would please be run Biden, sick. And then it's just Trump for four more, <sighs> chaos for four more. Yeah, they want him in, dude. They need him to win. The economy needs Trump to win. Yeah, for <laughs> real. The entire media is relying on it. Entertainment, Twitter. Yeah, dude. Social media has got to be relying on Trump to win. Well, yeah, man. We need him to go over to Russia and be like, knock it off. Because that's what happens when he talks dude, to the bad guys. what if he went over to Russia and they, he knocked it off, dude? Dude. If he gets elected they and still ends, give him the credit. What if he ends it? They wouldn't give him his cred. Obviously. They would not. say he <laughs> threw out all the train breaks. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had him right there and he said, get these out of here. But yeah, I don't know. It's going to be, it, yeah, it'll be a, a pure spectacle. It almost, it'll be disappointing, actually, that when they finally, if everyone's always like, just throw normal people in there. And do it. I think people were kind of going to miss it. Just being absolute fuck fest. They're gonna lose their identities. Yeah, true. Oh boy, it's half the most of the country's identity is like uh, Obama, Obama, Soda. That's it. Everybody's got yard signs. There's Trump flotillas. Yeah. There's dudes on boats in Florida. They'd lose it. They'd lose everything. Yeah, what would you do? Blue lives matter. Yeah, true. You got. You can still back the blue forever. Yeah, they need some backing. <laughs> Blue needs some back, and there's a lot of cops been getting shot. Like, I mean, I get maybe uh, it's just being put in the news more and more, but yeah, they're uh, they're getting shot. That plan is starting to backfire. What? Pull the blue dropping out. their budget, <laughs> 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 making making no one want to be a cop. Yeah. <laughs> How do we get rid of normal, logical dudes that want to be cops? I don't know. Make it the worst job possible. Yeah, man. So now we only get hard ass psychos that always wanted to be a cop. Yeah. Great. The Terminators, dude. We get ultimate, yeah, we get TAT 1000s coming at oh you. Oh, my God. Yeah, although there's a world of dudes trying to become cops who, like, they're, they can't. They're forever kept at length. Like, you'll never become a cop. But, yeah, they're, that barrier's going to start breaking down. It's going to be an orc army. Yeah. It will be the orc. I know, I've known of several dudes who are like, yeah, I'm just trying to, in my head, I'm going, yeah, you'll never, you'll never get in. There. Yeah. But they're going to get their break. Well, yeah, now that eight people are applying. Yeah. Every year, dude, you can get fucking fifty five grand a year for the first year off the bat, and for nine months, all you're doing is doing push ups and taking like second grade reading level tests. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. sick. I know. I no, fucking, you could be a cop. I've thought about it. I can see you becoming a cop. Ooh, <laughs> who'd you be just hit? Cop. <laughs> <laughs> what was that move? A little forearm shiver. You say, "Stay off my block, punk." <laughs> I know you got crack in there. You're on my beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, fifty five grand a year. I know I'm talking about it a lot because it's the last thing I remember it. But the night stalker, the dude who wanted to be a cop, and that's pretty sick. What happened? It's to like him? I always wanted to be a cop, and then he's like, I always wanted to do homicide division. Then he became the guy who was going at trying to find the night stalker. Was he pretty sick? Was he a cop or is he just a like he was a, a police officer? Then he became. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, he's Fuck. a beast. Yeah, that rules. Homicide detective would be wild. Yeah, that's I mean, a, horrendous job, dude. You get e you get live leak emails twenty four seven. Yeah. You're, you you got to watch like every shooting in the city. It's terrible. It's pretty terrible, actually. These guys get fucked up. Yeah, you open up your email and it's just like alert, must watch, and you pull it up and it's just like a fifteen year old getting shot in a fucking like Chinese deli. Yeah, you know, like, always in, on a corner in front of a deli. Dude, they're fucked. Those videos are. Fucked. They just walk up to them. And yeah, them, man. And they, they just, just slump in a thing and it's drop just, real bad. Yeah. Ah, oh, so bad. It is bad. And you, you're just, that's all you're taking it's also, in. it's not cool. No. You know, they're always acting like shooting people's cool. It looks so fucking gay. Oh, it looks they terrible. They run up, like, <laughs> <laughs> and fucking run, dude. It looks well, so fucking lame. Well, their butts lame. are always out, too. They're yeah. always like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
It's like, take your butt they in there. walk up. Put your butt in So there. close to her. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty horrific. Yeah. I wish it'd stop. I wish you war in Ukraine. Gotta stop the violence and vote. I wish the violence would stop. I just wish, dude. I wish, I wish. What would you do if you could change the world right now? If I could change it right now? Would you say world peace? I would do world peace. I would do that. I talked about this before. I would say- Lucy is now available at ca.lucy.co. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. True. It'll be good for the Canadians to get like piped up on some nicotine. Nicotine's to fight their, nice, uh, dude. Despot fucking leader. They do have a despot. <laughs> They're fucking despotic They have a theater leader. kid despot. We they can. do, dude. Blackface theater kid despot. That's, that's tough. Multiple blackface. Yeah, dude. Nonstop stop like four. He said he lost count. Yeah. That's nuts. And he's going to try to use that theater kid excuse. He's like, no way. Dude. Yeah, dude. No. No fucking way. Not in my world. I mean, not in my book, man. Not in my One book. One time's too many. Look, I like to have fun just like the next yeah. guy, but that's where I personally man, go along. We, were, we got lucky. We could have easily done blackface. I never would have. We were close. I did blue face once. I was a Smurf for Halloween. <laughs> you were edgy. I was edgy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very dark blue, and I got really hot because it was just like shitty like drugstore paint. Oh, it sucks, I don't man. think my body sweat for like 12 hours, and I drank a bunch. Someone could Photoshop you real in a real bad way. If there's it's a picture, true, dude. Someone could very fucking- true. Well, I had Get a little hat on. wheels a little bit that way. I had like white sweatpants and a little hat. Uh, your story on. checks out, yeah. Yeah. So it was Smurf. <laughs> I feel like I've seen, I saw kids do blackface. I one time, not it was not racially motivated, but my roommate was drunk and I colored in a large portion of his face with a black magic marker. That's fun. Yeah. But it, was, it wasn't it was racial. It was like, yeah. I was like, I'm going to color his entire face. In, but I, I got to like here. So I gave him like Braveheart face. But. That's pretty, You have man without a face face. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nominal Mel Gibson movie. <laughs> I never seen um, him. He's a great actor too. Mel. Mel. Phenomenal. Yeah, he's fucking great. Fantastic. From uh, just from an actor. Who's your actor. favorite actor? Mine. Yeah. Him himself. <sighs> yeah. Not no Mel. <laughs> yeah, I like Mel's to say out. It. Who's your favorite? No, I'm saying himself. Who is my oh, favorite yeah, actor? actor? You should have seen him, dude. <laughs> Bro, you should have seen Mel. I, I do. I, I, no, I no. fucking stink. No, you did very, very phenomenal. well. Such an uncomfortable. The whole time in my head is just like, dude, you're ruining this. It, I'm picturing you guys in the other room being like, what the. fuck? Fuck was that? Yeah, no. What the fuck is this guy doing? No. We have to change the whole thing now. He's fucked. No, <laughs> you did so good. It's my internal dialogue. How many skit? How many sketches were you in? One out of. We filmed seven. Not bad. That's a good. But his, he was in a most. You dominated was, one. Yes. No way. I he was, was half of one sketch. Yeah. Nice. Which so far that's no one else is really that. Gerby's Gerbin's and Gerbin's. Gerbin's a Gerbin's a co-star Thesbian. for sure. Gerb- Gerbin is a fantastic thespian. We have one sketch. McKee- I cannot McKee- wait to see. I envy McKeever. McKeever's the best actor, but he he's he's he likes being behind the camera. It's crazy. He's the best actor by far out of all of us. He's outgrown. He's outgrown the stage. Yeah, he so, outgrew stand up. He was just like done. Yeah, I'm good. I'm done. So he just acts now? No, he just directs. Oh, and writes. Dude, he writes all these. Dude, directing. I'll give him- some of these are just me, like one line being like, isn't this funny? And then he'll come up with. He just does he the rest. Can, And he wrote it's these quick. Up. It's fucked up. He'll write a sketch with like, and then like a hook ending. Was he a real funny dude? Yes. Yes. I never very met funny, him. A very funny stand up uh, Off stage, off camera. Not he's as not, funny? You wouldn't, if you were in a conversation with him, he's just a nice person. He's yeah. not like a. He wouldn't be like fucking around. Yeah. But yes, if you saw him act and give dude, lines. You know who I think it's the funniest stand up? Butterly. Butterly, I, funny, I went bro. with he's Hoss wild. down to Baltimore. Yeah, his standup was fucking yeah. wildly funny. Yeah, he's a funny bro. Butterly, is a I got like show. Hoss and he called stopped, me. and he and he's he got better from stopping. He just Dude. makes up new stuff. He tries to make up new stuff every day. Yeah, and he's just we like, were in some like this. weird brew pub in Baltimore, in like the outskirts of Baltimore, and Hoss was like, "Yo, come to Baltimore." Right, Hoss was a menace. <laughs> Hoss was a menace. That <laughs> night. I'm not going to dox full breakdown of, my, of Hoss on this. I can't. That's too much of a story. <laughs> it's too much of a dub. <laughs> Shot out Hoss. Yeah, Hoss. You know what Hoss you was out of pocket, dude. dude. He was out of Fully line out of pocket. Night. Was he doing push-ups? Yeah. He was fucking. <laughs> Hoss had a couple cups of coffee it. in his system. <laughs> Hoss, had, <laughs> Hoss had a couple pops. <laughs> a couple pops, a couple cups of coffee. But uh, Broke yeah. his personal squat record outside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to talk about Hoss. True, anyway, true, true. Point of my story is Butterly stand up was phenomenal. <laughs> Butterly is it very good. He was funny as fuck. Very funny, bro. He's I one of the funniest off the cuff dudes in the world. He's just talking. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like trying research chems with. He's also very That'll funny. be nice, yeah. <laughs> he'll go he'll try some research yeah, chems. Yeah, we do. It's oh, he's hobby. he's into heavy into research right now. That's me and Butterly. It's we're all you guys scientists are, are yeah, researching. He's a, he's a citizen there scientist are. as well. What's the end goal? What do you guys think you're gonna unlock? Just knowledge. Secrets of the universe. I bro. think you're gonna lose your knowledge. No, it's impossible. You can only gain more knowledge. You can't lose knowledge. <laughs> I think you guys keep searching for this knowledge. You're gonna you're gonna lose. We're it. more searching for direct experience, so you can't lose. True. Because everything's an experience, positive or negative. What if you experience it and can't process it? So then that's just then the did it there's a term for that. Then it's ineffable. Robert Monroe, I forget what the term is, but when he there was a guy who was traveling out of his body and wrote like a bunch of books about what he was seeing. There's entities that'll give you like a just humongous ball of information that you're like, what the fuck is that? And they're like, just give it a couple of years at all and wrap. Yeah, I've met that guy a lot. There's, what that entity gives you too much information yeah, to process in one sitting. Oh yeah, it's, you slowly it, chip away. It's like a big piece of wood. Do you think it's possible that it's just a part of your brain that feels like you're getting a lot of information that's being triggered totally by these possible. drugs? Anything's possible. That it's not really an entity that's like, I have all the knowledge. Oh, definitely. You're it's 100% possible. It. It's, it's just possible. a piece of your brain going like, that's the part that makes you feel like you're receiving a lot of information. Yeah, Even if dude, it is, dude, I mean, it's no different. Than my thing is, the it fact doesn't that, make a difference. The yeah. fact that my brain could construct a DMT visual setup, like the room I was in is like, what? I mean, you do this while you're dreaming. Yeah. yeah. Well, the goddess just is kicks, dreaming dude. visits you. You got to get kicked somehow. True. Yeah, I get kicked. So. Yeah. I mean, but, before all well, yeah, dudes it had. It could just be in your head. Who knows? But at the end of the day. It's definitely just in your head. Yeah, but you don't know, though. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, it is everything's just in your head. Nothing's not sure. in your head. Also, sure. like, if you can walk Certainly. away with something. I'm getting triggered. <laughs> but, you know, what I'm saying is, like, if you Certainly. can walk away with something yeah, that's beneficial. All, that's stimmed up. He's going to be like, shut stimmed. the fuck up, dude. But, I mean, you can. you, dude. You can walk away with something. real. What I'm saying is like if you walk away with something <laughs> beneficial, it's good. Same thing with alcohol. You can yeah. alcohol can give you beneficial you can realization. Have some really good I had a mystical can, experience on alcohol. You can have mystical experiences with Bud Light. Yeah. You know, like let's say you haven't talked to your cousin for a long time. You guys go have a good time. You catch up, Beautiful. drink some Bud Lights. Everything's blissful. So it's all yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. At the end of True. the day, not one thing's better than another. No, I don't think anything's better than another thing. It's just different kicks but for different hicks, you know? I'm aware. <laughs> like, so let's say, let's say I get done with the show. Yeah. I've got the perfect amount of Bud Lights. Perfect. Good show. For sure. I have eight draft Bud Lights. Yeah. Perfect. And I walk back to the hotel listening to cool music. That's called the I get pursuit into the of hotel, happiness. I hotel. I dance by myself in yes. the hotel. A little weird, but Put together cool. a cool playlist. No, it's not weird. Machine Gun Kelly probably danced by himself. No, no, no. <laughs> that's, that's, that's an assumption. Don't you dare. Don't sorry, you dare. Sorry. Don't you dare. I, I don't know. I'm well. sorry. That's fucked I'm up. I'm sorry. I've but, danced by myself but too. Then I'm when sorry. I wake up the next day, I go, damn, that Bud Light made me feel that way it wasn't entities from a different dimension yeah that's just a different molecule yeah it's a different exactly so yeah, it's but like, i don't believe there was a spirit in the room the spirit of bud light was not in the room the blue knight was not in the room <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, you don't yeah, see but it's the a, blue it's a different it's not a, it's mind, a different it's thing it's not a mind expanding substance that's like saying i took a downer and it didn't make me stay awake you know yeah. things do different things no i know i know but i'm saying it's like I, saying i have an axe and i couldn't dig a hole with it yeah, no, but I'm saying the, the reality. I I know that it was the alcohol, not reality. That's but fair. it was reality because that was your reality. It was at the my time personal reality, but yes. you have to try to have an understanding of reality. Yeah, but that's so impossible. Like, true, because it's always changing, and your reality is only your direct experience. <laughs> this is true, bro. There's there's things. So like, like if you eat that. a ton of mushrooms and you see these entities and stuff. That was your reality for that time. Yes. Whether or not it was quote unquote as real as like real. this coffee table. Sure. That's you're talking about different levels of reality. Yeah, it's, it's, so if you have the memory <laughs> and it is there, it's as real as a dream. Yeah, and consciousness is built into the universe. So there could be consciousnesses floating about in different areas of the universe. So like the Big Bang shoots out and it's just it's we're flying through space or and eventually Space time's curved, obviously, so we're just coming right back. But within the descent and the return, there's trapped proto space, which would just be like the infinitely dense the stuff the Big Bang molecules trapped build. Proto space it's off his phone. No, I'm not. I'm telling you. <laughs> What's trapped so, proto space? So that, it's like it's the absolute abyss. There's like you know they're saying there's the void, so there's nothing, and that, but the, that nothingness is infinitely condensed. That's what that's what the Big Bang explodes out of. It just gets so condensed, it goes poof, and explodes in a, in a you know space time light matter flies through and then returns to itself through a black hole then the white hole shoots out of it but there's just our like so the blue knight's real who is the blue knight 
For sure. This is a Bud Light Blue Nut. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Dilly Dilly. He yeah, shows yeah. up and he's like, Dilly <laughs> Dilly. And I'm like, hey. hey you're not, you dancing, alone. Alone. But, dude, you're not dancing alone. Dude. Not if you drank alone. enough, you could see things. Yeah, you can. So what, have you ever gotten to that point? No. And you I should. also, you I should would, shoot for it. You should, you should, you should never, if someone's dancing, like, dude, in terms of shamanic protocol, that's something you ask someone. When, when did you stop dancing? That's when true. Did you stop singing? That's true. I apologized immediately. Just like the Kid Rock comments, I am flying off the cuff a little. I apologize. You're having a good time. Having a good time. You're giving dudes a razz. You're having fun. I'm you're on the mic. Like, yeah, you're, I'm on the you're mic. You're McCusker. You're on the mic. You're yeah, in front I'm of the camera. You're going to be shit. turning it on a little. You're giving yeah. dudes a razz. Turn on. Usually, I, mean, I wouldn't badmouth Kid Rock a lot. You guys are like scientists that are also like, you like Neil deGrasse Tyson. Like Bill Nye. You're like Bill Nye. You're like, we're show, we're. We're scientists, but we're also in it for you the glory. You couldn't be too right. You couldn't be too right. I mean, yeah, right. I'll take it for the glory a little bit. That's one thing I felt. If that's the reality with, yeah. you see for me, then I can't argue with that. <laughs> a showman scientist, I can't deny it. I yeah. can't deny it. My ultimate goal, if you gave me enough money, I'd probably be like, okay, I'll be a showman scientist. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking sick game. With research chemicals. <laughs> yes. True. True. I wouldn't do the core. I wouldn't sit there and worry about space and time. I'd be like, here's what happens see, when you, you eat. use a tactic. Yes. PA, no, I'm just saying PA. that's Matt's bag. That's cool. You but call like, it corny, did you not? I didn't call it corny. I, I, I envy Matt's ability to, to be like, I got that. Like space and time. Like I, I can. I mean, dude, if you saw I the diagram, if you saw the diagram I saw, what I was trying to say is, there's <laughs> we're coming here, we're going through here, but there's layers of proto space that we're that separate material realities. It's just different dimensions. We can't get through the proto space. It's pure nothingness. But I know, but I don't understand anything you're saying. It's nothingness, but it's also infinite potential. Yeah. that's that, They say that little dense little pinprick, the Big yeah. Bang exploded out of It's like, brother, I hate to tell you, there's a whole sea of that stuff. It's called the ground of reality. We all come from it. We all return to it. And the whole <laughs> thing true. happens again. I hate to break it to you. I'll follow and the whole thing saying. happens again? I've, I had that theory. I've heard that. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just cyclical, dude. As above, so below. Maybe we die. The universe gets sucked into a black hole. Stuff comes back. Flowers bloom. We're fucking. We're flying right through this thing, dude. We'll pop right back up. And we'll Maybe. do this all again. It's no big deal, yeah, dude. It's not a big deal at all. Chill out, everybody. You can drink no as much Bud Light deal. as you want, dude. I'm not worried about the Bud Lights. I'm not either. I'm chilling with them. I'm worried about my. Coffee, it's what the Bud Lights lead to. True. So you gotta watch out. Well, you, you yeah. need the blue knight looking over you. Blue knight. He, <laughs> he grabs my shoulder. I'll be like, yeah, maybe I should do a line. And he's like, no, man, that's not cool. This dude, dude, she's fat as hell. Just fucking blocks you with a shield, dude. Come on, man. She's not thick. She's actually she's purely. She's fat as hell. Shield just shields you away. Dude, she, no, she just night? has fat titties. Uh, what the blue night? Do you strictly we drink Bud Light, or do you fuck with like hard alcohol too? I try not. I, I really don't drink liquor. Yeah, I try not. To. I haven't drank liquor. I really don't so drink long. IPAs either. I just try to drink Bud Light or it's any good. light beer. That so way you don't you, fucking dude. black out. You talking about yeah, no, Raleigh, like, what the uh, time we were married? We could have used the blue night, dude. The blue night should have defended me. <laughs> <laughs> One time we were doing a show in Maryland, and this girl, this big unit, got a hold of me, and she and she get, took you back to her nest, she, which is an apartment no, complex. No, I was going to no, no. Wait, when was that? That was a different one. What? Yeah, this is a dangerous conversation. <laughs> well, you were in Maryland. Maryland. This, was, this was no, this was like fucking eight years ago. Yeah. Okay. It's way back in the day. I mean, definitely. But this, I was in like the bathroom line at, where the at the bar, and she came back. We smooched for a second, and then she gave me an over the pants hand yes, job. Yes, I'm talking about yeah, the same night. There was no apartment complex. We left from that bar to and completion? walked out to the car. Someone else was in that apartment complex. Did you coom in your pants? No, I chair. didn't coom. Ah. But we I think got outside. Felt, I think someone felt boobs. And I was in the just joking complex. around, and I was like. You guys, where the fuck are you guys? You let me get a fucking over the pants hand job for that fat bitch? And we turned around. She was right behind us. That's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, it was, I felt terrible. The Blue Knight should have guided me, and he yeah, did not. He should have stepped in. But that was before I was Blue Knighted out. I true. was probably on liquor. and Yeah, yeah true. I was on the demon rum. Stims. Oh, man. I got to figure out what you're talking about. When did I that go was to the same night. That was the same night. I'm, I'm pretty sure... We had to go pick you up from, from the bar. We, got <laughs> no. we left the bar and went to a fucking Waffle House and then drove back to Philly. And there was another time. Who was driving? Mackie? Yeah, uh, maybe. Or Blizz. Blizz. That, yeah. That was the... Yeah, I remember that place. That was in Rising Sun, Maryland. Yeah, Who right, was, Rising Scum. Hold on. We got to figure out this apartment complex somebody I'm picked up I'm telling you, bro. Like, there was... Someone fell in love. Maybe someone else. We went and... Pick someone up from like a fat lady apartment complex. 
Oh, yeah. housing? Like an apartment complex only for fat ladies? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what apartment housing. complexes are. They have housing. Yeah. Yeah, they, it was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like where they're like, they have like long, tall steps and they're all, st- yeah, it's Yeah, and then it's just a bus stop of dudes. And someone like, was holed up there? It's like share space for fat ladies, yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. It's like a WeWork for fat ladies. I'm fairly certain, I'm fairly certain that was not me. I don't I'm think not was. saying it's outside Wait, of the room, man. but I don't remember being picked up from a apartment complex with you might be another false memory this might be you i might have false memory i yeah. mean this i've definitely done this a hundred times yeah i've done it i've yeah, done yeah, it. Yeah, i woke up remember. above the cvs one time in like prospect park blacked out with a lady and i was like <laughs> you're like oh fuck she's like i called my See, husband that's what I'm saying, like, some guy's dick you're saying like, we could lose knowledge fuck? trying these research counts i think alcohol is way more dangerous Ooh. oh for sure but i have no problems with for it. sure but I i'm just, not out here saying i'm seeking knowledge i didn't say i was seeking knowledge you put that on me i'm saying kicks you can definitely. No, you, you changed the you kicks. You can definitely. I never once said he's kicks knowledge. on knowledge. You can no, I definitely. Did. No, you're right. You're right. Roll the tape back. I did say that. Thank you. I apologize. Fair. I rest my case. Looks like my memory's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it's not that bad, Dober. So wait, I take it back. <laughs> I'm doing both. <laughs> anyway, you might have swapped your timelines. I might have swapped timelines. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I might have gotten lost the in fact that You fucking dickheads have graduated into like. The reality is not real. I never arguments. said reality was real. I said reality shit, is dude. only your direct experience. You guys I mean, dickheads forever, your whole lives. What? And now you've graduated into like we're Doctor Strange. <laughs> 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 Oh, you think you pinned me down? Yeah, guess what, brother? You're thinking proto space. <laughs> like, dude, dude, what the fuck are we talking about? Gotta see the diagram. <laughs> yeah, he probably drew. drew I saw up. one diagram. Was like. He memorized <laughs> the, it. The universe. I understand. It makes it's it's one possible theory. Yeah, of course. That's all. It's one yeah. possible theory. It is a theory. I, I took a class on astro- in, uh, so astronomy, know, and this guy was explaining that that theory. It could be hologram. I forget what it's called. It could rubber, be hologram. Rubber band universe theory, some bullshit. At yeah. the end of the day, they're all theories. Exactly. Do you know, know about the string theory? Not string theory. Mm-hmm. It's the one where the universe is expanding and blowing up the exact same oh, way every single time. So you're going to live this life for eternity. I mean, day and it's night. It's just are, always going to repeat. Day and night are, you know, it's, like, it's just a thing because the way the celestial bodies move. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's, That's what I'm saying. It's, we think it's a real thing. It's it's a real thing, but also, like, kind of not. What are you talking about? Like, if you about? were in a shadow, we're just, we're just like, living in they a shadow. Figured, the cavemen figured this out. <laughs> <laughs> what are we <laughs> talking about? <laughs> like, I'll give it to you. He's very good at debating. All, he, the Ew. secret to debating is you just constantly keep saying stuff. And people, yeah. Oh, Matt's you guess people unstoppable. Up. I do this to my wife. <laughs> like, I'll just keep, I'll gas her out. Like, I'll be like, yeah. yeah. You can just, put, oh, you can, I, I stopped debating a long time ago. You can yeah. redline a babe. You just keep quick. going. You can, if you follow the podcast, there was like a one year period where we transitioned from when we were together together open mic and then oh. matt went to theories for a year and i tried to debate i remember this this I, was like early podcast yes i tried how long to have you been doing this I've podcast given it up. six dude, seven years that's insane yeah. yeah pretty nuts it's nice dude I get so to you talk do another to him. seven i'll be dead I get to talk to him for an hour <laughs> two hours every week it's fucking sick that is i remember when it you guys fun. started i had no idea what a podcast was yeah and matt was like i'm gonna do a podcast and i was just nodding like i, I was painting with spud he was like dude, i thought it was like something you download on your ipod or something <laughs> it's like that's the dumbest thing ever that. yeah he's like nobody gets money for that i was like there's a podcast called come town and they, they make a lot of they money they make a lot of money now he's the king yeah, podcast spud's kop spud? bro yeah yeah man i think spud's the greatest in the podcast he's kop game. he hit a solo cast in the beginning of war mode that dude. was it was nice i heard a little bit of it bro it was one of the i wish they had video for that because he's literally like like this with his hand and then i'll say something and be like <laughs> look at you and you're like holy shit dude <laughs> yeah, he's, if anyone in the world could do one i mean obviously you two you're an actor and a solo podcaster <laughs> could do a solo podcaster it's andrew yeah. i know i know but he's he would never do nature it. he's denying his true nature yeah billy's nice to have on his podcast to, it's, it's a nice billy's balance. a color commentator bro yeah yeah maybe one of the best one of the best what? Color commentators. What's a color commentator? You're just like, just bullshit. Yeah, Matt, you're more of the play-by-play on this. I'm more color commentator. For sure. Color commentator. I didn't know like, the structure. Oh, shit. Like someone being like, so if you're watching, you, like Joe Rogan's a color commentator. If you're watching UFC, it's like, they got him in an underhook and you would just be off the cuff. Just bullshit. A color that commentator what is like, so you're watching base, like hockey. Yeah. Like, uh, he passes to this guy. That's that's the that's the play by play. And then the other guy's He's explaining like, it. And the other guy's like, here, now let me tell you what he did here. Okay, what he did okay. was he fucking that. This is yeah. cool. I'm getting. I'm learning a lot about broadcasting yeah. down here. Oh yeah, and reality, yeah. and reality, and alcoholism. <laughs> Speaking of alcoholism, let's switch over to the Patreon True. so that we can really delve into 
addiction. Please join the Patreon so we can continue to fuel our addictions. <laughs> And Hollywood, really? And I don't know if that's what it's called. Damn, Sandy know. Rogan's verified. Yeah, man. I gotta get my shit together. <laughs> his wife's verified. That's Damn, his mom. Dude. That's, that's his mom? mom. Yeah. My, my son. son is yeah. Not, is there a controversy? Is there any controversy hey, dude, around this? Talk about no, Epstein, it's all dude. Anything happened. happened. Me. Yeah, because Seth I'm, Rogan kind of does look like Donkey. Yeah, Kong. he does. He's he's a, his Donkey laugh Kong. alone yeah. sounds like him. He could be Diddy. That's fine. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. Wait, so who would you have? What black actor would you have play Donkey That's Kong? That's a good Kong? question. <laughs> who would you, a good who question. would you have? Terry Crews. Why? Because Terry Crews is every white guy's favorite black person. No, he's no, not. He's not. So you're trying to broker a piece Terry Crews is mainstream white people's... Or Anthony Anderson. Terry Crews or Anthony Anderson. Mainstream mm. white people love them. Do you uh, do you think hmm. that Cosby got out of jail because he told black people to pull their pants up twenty years ago? <laughs> <laughs> Kel, like, what, how do you feel about pants? Kel yeah. was like, pull them down. Cosby was like, yank them up. Like, Cosby, you're free to go. Kel, get in there. He's probably yeah, like, that's a good so glad I told him to pull their pants up twenty years ago. <laughs> that's such a hot button debate, dude. What? Where do you stand on the pull your pants up debate? You got to take a side. You got to take a side. Pull him up. Pull him up. You pull him up. You got it. I'm sag. I'm sag. Dude, the sag skinny is fucking crazy. There was some dudes when they were the tight, really like fucking tight jeans, but they sag out. We that would be tight to do a gallop pull. I've only dude. There was one time I saw a dude wearing like sag skinny jeans, but he had on a pair of basketball shorts and boxers. Yeah, yeah there's so many clothes. That's layers. so much clothing. Yeah, yeah dude. What have you got I just don't fall? know why. Why would you do that? It was weird because it was over the jeans. Yeah, it didn't make any. No, it just didn't make any sense. Like there's so many things you're love putting basketball on. Shorts as boxers. It's just That's like a sick move. Always. Yeah. yeah, I don't get it. Like the freedom. You don't. You don't get it because you're a tight pants man. You like to keep your donger to your thigh. Yeah, you're the, I mean, you have the opposite problem. You have no <laughs> underwear. You're yeah, no I'm underwear. not even wearing yeah. underwear. Yeah, I don't exactly. But like, if you, if you chugging, wear a, underwear, chugging a pair of b-ball shorts as boxers, <laughs> if you run out on a laundry day, yeah. does oh, yeah. feel yeah. kind of good. It but is in skinny jeans. That'd be tough. No, it's 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 like the boxers and then, then the shorts, then the jeans. Maybe he yeah, cut yeah. the crotch out of the like, boxers. I don't understand the Maybe he layering. actually cut the elastic. because Sometimes you just want to show a sick elastic boxer ring. <laughs> the band. Some that Tommy Hills. one coming out yeah, of the loop. Tommy oh, Hills. I guess that is a fashion statement. Yeah, just never... like a nice uh, boxer ring, some some Tommy Hill. I didn't, then you throw in the N1s. Then I didn't you throw think on about the that. I didn't think J's. about the fashion, dude. Yeah, let yeah. them know, dude. You're Damn. hip, but you'll cross them over. Damn, dude. You, you think use about the that. boxers to keep your donger to the chest, and then you use your basketball shorts so you can feel free. Do, do you got basketball shorts? I'm a basketball shorts guy. So wait, you have two. Do you have boxers? Not on right now. Not right now. Okay. But yeah. So you usually. keep your. Yeah, don't be so Eurocentric about your boxers, dude. Sometimes <laughs> you can use some N1s. Yeah. Or some Russell. Shayner, free your piece, dude. My piece, piece is, is super great. free. No, dude. But it's oppressed, no, dude. No, if it's dude. against <laughs> jeans, your piece, if your piece is against denim, it's oppressed. Dude, yeah. you know what's the worst? Your piece is in the- <laughs> One time when I was younger, I wore umbros as boxers. That's boner time. That's rough. That's oh, boner, dude. dude. <laughs> you got to just sit in a corner. That's tantalizing. Dude, the one time I thought, when I was a kid, I ran out of underwear and I thought I, I used a bathing suit and I put oh, that. Oh, yeah. I put Swag. that. Dude, I was Swag. like, what am I doing? Like, I was just like, why am I wearing a bathing suit and jeans? I fucking feel like a moron. I no, that's it. fucking hot, dude. What? Definitely done it. Dude, if your boner is smashed up against, <laughs> your boner is like in a tool video, just smashed against <laughs> denim. I mean, what I'm saying is like if I get a boner in mesh underwear, then fucking goddamn bathing suit and Denim? then my and then my dude, layers, dude. Nobody's gonna see it. Dude, yeah. No. What I'm saying is my boner is shit. being oppressed. I want my boner to breathe. Yeah, dude. Dude, it might be true. That's actually might it might be a no boner one defense wants mechanism. Yeah, dude, you, throw, you throw the you show the gym shorts on in case, dude. If, if I'm on the fucking block, dude, I got a boner around all my boys. I dude, don't want to have a boner. I'm just saying, why do you have a boner around all your boys? You're on the block, dude. The block's hot. The block's hot. The block's hot. You got a horny ass block. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Of course. My, like block's damn, my block's horny. As fuck. I gotta walk down dude. the block. Like, my block is horny. Everyone's hard Yo, on my block. Do they sell dude, boner defense outside. shorts? <laughs> you could corner market, dude. Boner defense. Can you stand outside with like a visible boat, like protruding mm. out of gym shorts? I would chill. I mean, if you're like, if it's your neighborhood, you that? dude's walking around the neighborhood, just coming out with basketball <laughs> shorts. Mm. Clearly, just had sex. No way. I swear to God, dude, with boners. Yeah. I mean, not like full on rod, but like definitely the fall. Oh no, I never seen like full on hard. I want to post up hard as a rock and just fucking. 
Nah, dude. Arms akimbo. Just on I the mean, hips. you could, but I mean, being chubbed up in a bar in jeans is like that's a fucking yeah. that's a different fucking thing. That's standard. I, used to, I did that in school once. What? I used to walk. That used to be my gag when I was young. When of I could course first it was. <laughs> yeah. Gardini's like, around. I have yeah. another. I was gonna say, did you also make barbecue sauce with fucking sex drugs <laughs> in it too? You fucking weirdo. <laughs> no, I, I I agree with you, Gardini. I used to do the same thing. We had a whole thing called the boner club. And you had a boner and Grace. Went on the especially on gym day because we had sweatpants. You'd wear sweatpants. Oh all yeah, day. dude. Stand up, boner club. Just pop up, show boner to the class behind the teacher's back. Pop back down. It was. I mean, boner and sweatpants. Is everybody classic. liked it. This Fun. is Every, nobody. I'm sorry, telling you, in you know, I've never. It was never a bad reaction to popping up, showing boner to the class, and popping back down. It's a great joke. The yeah. girls, the boys, they all like it. It was. Everyone. It was. Everyone loved. The girls loved it, dude. Of course, did they? <laughs> did you yeah, get ass dude. out of it? No, well, yeah. eventually, yeah. I mean, loved it. I mean, some were like, did anybody away. on the boner club? Get- <laughs> yeah. Dude, how, how, where are the people in the boner club now? <laughs> I are mean, they in jail I with R. Kelly? Fuck fight with them. R. Kelly. The one, the one guy we did let someone in the boner club. We used to tease. <laughs> how did you initiate? <laughs> yeah. them? You guys we got membership them. cards. We would make them. <laughs> we would make them. Bo- no, we'd be like, dude, like, let's go. Because we would show a boner and everyone would laugh, and someone would be like, they'll be like, yo, what's up? They'd be like, I got a boner. Like you show the fucking show the fucking class, but he if you knew what you're doing, you'd point your boner down because that gives the best. Yeah, appearance. yeah, and then you get he the went tent. boner up. Oh, so he no. did like a little fuck. He did like a little turtle, like a turtle head, just fucking right at the top of his, his oh, gym yeah, shorts. Dude. Stood up, and that's when we alerted the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. And the, the gag was like, could you walk up and get it? Here's the gag. The gag was, I used to get up and get a tissue in front of the class, boned up, blow my nose with a boner. I thought that was going another way. He's like, I would come into this tissue. <laughs> Hilarious. Do you have anyone in your, school, you you have anyone in your grade school that beat off in class? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Caught me a couple kids in fact yeah. in class. I think I talked about this. Week, but I, mean, I had a friend. <laughs> or I talked about it with you and uh, my one buddy claimed that he he came from doing the thigh oh the thigh, thigh thing slam. man yeah just slamming his thighs against like 7th or 8th grade <laughs> and he was like yeah. dude I jizzed so hard I was yeah, like dude. that's such a weird fucking flex and I know that didn't happen <laughs> that, that is like diplomatic immunity the slow kid defense <laughs> yeah. you can fap in cl- you just start fapping it. it's like you can't do anything about it he's, got, <laughs> he's, okay. he's got clearance yeah he's got clearance yeah it doesn't work now it's like you're, back then you'd be like I have dyslexia I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that a Q or an R <laughs> 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 Dude, that was – you can fully fap in the 90s in your class. Yeah, dude. Teach, you get a phone call and your parents be like, why'd you do that? <laughs> I don't fap in class. Is that how they react? Why? Oh. Matthew, why? Oh, why that would not that? happen. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I know people who fapped in class, like at least attempted to fap in class. Yeah. I, I don't mean, know who completed. Only the baddest kids completed a fap in class. I don't know if you – how do you – I don't know if you want to complete. You want to complete it, dude. No, do you want to sheet rock fa- fucking I fapped jeans, to kill. I fapped the shoot, dude. I fapped the kill. I, I mean, if, first of all, if you're jerking off, why are you doing it just to get, like, halfway? Dude, when I was in eighth grade, kids were just get fucking torched. the hallways in my school. Like, really? the stairwells. Yeah. Yeah, I know kids. Oh, we, fuck, yeah, 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 Stairwell yeah. kids fucking. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were cool. Yeah, they were okay, awesome. Okay, cool. I was one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Finger no, popping in the seventh grade. I would check them. There was a couple of, like, wings at our school where I'd go by. <laughs> Gotta get the look. What are you doing yeah. over there, Peter? You're just checking. Fucking no. <laughs> I'm like Anyone the hallway monitor. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Stop yeah, in yeah. the name of the fuck, dude. This guy named Will Montgomery and Jamie Lee. They got caught <laughs> in the hall having sex. Yeah, <laughs> on the stairwell by a teacher. Hell yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Damn, how does a teacher break? Yeah, how does that happen? You gotta go. Is that illegal to stop two kids? Because then you sex? see, then you see a kid's boner. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. see an underage kid's boner. Yeah. And you're like, well, I didn't know what to do. It's just like, man. You gotta hope the yelling spooks them. Like, hey, <laughs> like they're gonna go. You know? I mean, when I made a film, do you think they go in? Do they, they do they flash the lights in the hallway? Like, hey guys, we're coming down. There better not be boners out in this fucking hallway. Yeah, what are they, like, yeah. oh, excuse me, are you are you guys having sex right now? Stop. Yeah. That sucks. Where do you think you are? Right out, now. You're just like. That's a sick, that's yeah. a sick uh, in-school okay. suspension, though. If you're yeah. sitting there with yeah. the other ruffians, yeah. what are you in for? I'm like, yeah, fuck that girl. I, yeah. Fucked. Yeah. What do you I think, pal? <laughs> Can you go Check out this boner. What are you, tardy? <laughs> you know who's <laughs> retardy? My fucking boner, dude. Look at this goddamn Also, thing. just having that conversation of like, that, the hell, like, nah, it's cool, it's cool, nah, it's cool. Like, yeah. In the hallway? Oh, <laughs> yeah. dude. Could you That's imagine cool. if you were like, can I finish? <laughs> you're like, look, give me a minute, dude. Yeah. Dude, like, my yeah. Bad, you hit the teacher with that? Like, bro. Work bro, right. cock block. <laughs> 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 or, dude, could you or imagine just... being a teacher walking in the hallway right as some guy's like, Pleh! 
pull it out, oh. blowing a load. That would be the worst thing you could ever. And you see. walk back and you're like, all right, so in 1492, <laughs> <laughs> that would be like back. though in combine they had the grainy footage and they go by like the libraries. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> they ended up getting them. Yeah, if you come, if you <laughs> they, so, they show Klebold and Harris like. He's like, that sorry, be, sorry. I just walk away insane. like, ah, that's a good move for the kid to just never stop coming. Like, hey, stop. Like, ah, ah, oh, ah. Dude. <laughs> Could you imagine a loud comer in a stairwell? <laughs> just a teacher, oh, echo, a teacher fighting. He's like, oh, oh. Dude. Like, what's happening? There's a goose. No. Yeah, yeah dude. But the teacher's got to go. Yeah, like you go back to class. He's like, all right, guys, uh, the Spanish Armada. Oh, I don't this know what I'm more about. ass That's than a me. tough foundation. Yeah, yeah, that's got to piss some teachers off. <laughs> That's a tough foundation, especially for the girl to build off. Like, I was a hallway sex girl. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that would be disappointing. I don't know why. That would slightly be like, like... that guy? He's a titan of the industries now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a hallway sex... A- I was a hallway sex girl. <laughs> yeah. That's dude, probably yeah. a whole feature at Epstein Island, too. It's like, you want to relive your glory days? <laughs> Go into this hallway and fuck. Yeah, he had a yeah. custom-built high school. He had a custom-built high school stairwell. No, nah, those, those, uh, those politicians... Never saw high school sex in the stairway. Can you imagine coming home and giving your dad that suspension paper? It's like, dad. dude, and what happens? You break your arm from high fiving your dad <laughs> yeah. too much. You got a paper if you got suspended. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I got pa- I got papers and phone calls. And phone oh call. yeah, yeah. Call. yeah the, the, the the politicians that went to Epstein's island, I think they relieved all their sexual tension by having like Draco Malfoy battles. <laughs> they would just sit there, like, they would go in the hallway and like, my father could just take you. My father could sue your father into oblivion. And be like, oh fuck. My father's more powerful. Yeah. Than he, just, he just comes over. He's like, oh, <laughs> fuck. That must be so sick, dude. Yeah. That powerful where his son just dominates his peers. Like, my father. What's the uh, status father. of the island? I think it's up for sale. I think I mean, no, I, no, I mean, like, where, like, who owns the island? I mean, I'm sure it was. Like, seasoned. it's got to be in a territory or something like that. Yeah. We should buy it. Ghana took it. I think it's yeah, let's all chip in and buy <laughs> Epstein Island, dude. Oh, there we go. Buyers do have their eyes on Epstein Island. I mean, it's <laughs> not for nothing. That's good real estate. I bet it's a great <laughs> island, though. I bet the water. The island it. didn't do anything. Yeah. The land, it's, it's you know? good land. It's good. Yeah, it is good real estate. Do you get estate. to keep the kids? No. <laughs> yeah, what is it called? Dude, what if you had taunted by still sex there? Slaves, the boats <laughs> never took yeah, they never, they never left. It's like when America left Afghanistan and all the weapons are still there. The island is called Little St. James? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh James, man. Yeah. U.S. Virgin Islands. Ooh. So it's a Virgin Island. Dude, not a Virgin <laughs> Realm, dude. I wonder who... Uh, wait, the guy... Hold on a second. It was charged... Arch Cummin. So Stephen Hawkins visited the island. Whoa, dude. Damn, he was a guy... They said uh, mm. someone... Who, yeah, a researcher of string theory. It's like... Yeah. Fucking rope theory, bro. Dude, <laughs> that's ropes. sick. You imagine him coming <laughs> off the fucking cruise ship, too? Just head nodded, yeah. just like, I'm about to party. blast in a nutshell. <laughs> the first yeah, guy's got little, his Hawaiian little gear Saint on. St. James, <laughs> other visitors, Gerard. He's got spinners Luth. on the wheel. He's like, get all of our hair. Mm-hmm. Oh, so Epstein's, so the reputation under Epstein's ownership. So apparently, oh, they call it, yeah. The Island of Sin, Pedophile yes. Island, and Orgy Island. Island of Sin is, is great. Orgy Island's cool. Orgy Island. Pedophile Island. That's a branding that. issue. Maybe you want to you want to <laughs> dial that back. <laughs> Sin Island sounds awesome. Orgy Island, even better. Pedophile yeah. Island. Buckingham. So, pa- oh, yeah. A lot of the uh, royal Prince family. Andrew, Prince oh, yeah. yeah. A lot Prince of royal Andrew, dude. Down there. The queen. Yeah, man. I mean, that's a bummer. I mean, I've been to Punicana. That would suck if, like... <laughs> <laughs> That's five years around me. Yeah. That's a big you know, <laughs> it's, small, it's, it's light. <laughs> Pedophile Kana. And you're like, oh, I, I, you oh. can see it from over there. It's like, we don't go <laughs> over there. God. What if so, maybe they're, they're all like, it was a destination wedding. We had to go to Pedophile Island. Yeah, what's, I didn't want to go. What's My the, friend what? was marrying an 11 year old. The boat broke Kana. down. We were here. What are we doing? <laughs> You're going Come to King, you're going you're just on some Virgin Island and then you just get trapped. Somebody takes you to Epstein. That was you. Trump's defense. <laughs> yeah, Trump they was like, I them. had a fucking layover. <laughs> Trump had a layover. Yeah, that's like, what's happening on that island over by like New Zealand, where what? The, like, no outsiders are allowed to go. Really? Remember that church kid went and they cut no. his head off? Oh, yeah, Century no. Island. Century yeah. Island. And that's just a big fuck. What are you talking old, about? Who no. cut his head off? You never heard about this? No. no. It's a yeah. It's an island. It's inhabited. Yeah, he yeah. was a missionary, and he thought, no, I can talk to these people, and these, this tribe has lived there, and they don't want outside people coming in because yeah. they're obviously diseases or whatever else. So this guy Wait, rolled on. up and was this like... Is, these guys are worried about diseases? Yeah, like they... they cut no, they're, they're, they're just a tribe. No, they're just a tribe. The, the, the they, island they, itself is actually protected. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's like a... Whatever island yeah. called. Yeah, yeah no, they I was saying, it. was it like, you know... If it's like an like a old school indigenous yeah. group being like, yeah. hey, SARS-CoV-2, get out of here. 
Well, I mean, I don't know so much about that, but they are protected, <laughs> so it's like biologists. nobody, so yeah. nobody could go there. And this kid, yeah, you're legally not allowed to go. There. Who's a missionary rolled up on it and was like, "Dude, I'll yeah, get him on my Jesus. side. I'll read him some Ezekiel." And then they, they cut his head off immediately. Dude, yeah, dude. they killed him. So I was reading about this. Um, apparently, I guess loosely. So when you talk about like tropical, like tribal people who get into head hunting and like you know, I don't, I'm not calling these guys cannibals. I don't know the deal. But I was reading a book and they were talking about how. When agriculture started, they think that like a lot of the women were the first ones to discover it because they were the ones gathering nuts and berries and shit, and the dudes were out hunting. And what the people theorize happened, and there's like this is reflected in mythology. There was a there's a period where women ruled, like they had total control. Be- uh. <laughs> West, the wild wild west oh fucking yeah dude what's up (laughs) dude that's what's crazy is how broken his body is too like his first of all his shoulder is off of his shoulder he literally dude he looks like you know you know when the terminator comes over the conveyor belt like his arms off (laughs) he shoots the t-1000 it's exactly where it needs to be I'm so fucking dude. I'm so excited for the fight. When is it? September 10th. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, dude, he's basically he's gonna be. I hope it does. This doesn't occur, but he might be the first martyr of you. It's martyrdom. <laughs> it takes this fight's total. No, I'm saying just for your body. What it's what's going on? It's it's yeah, literally dude. love. Full love of the yeah. game. It's a comp. It's the deepest compliment. Who's yeah. the guy he's fighting? Huh. Who's uh, comes out? Oh or, yeah. 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 I hope he yeah. wins. He's but, he's the next big thing. But he, he's, he's, he's 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 really fucking people up. Although that Gilbert fight, he he struggled a little. He's not a he knockout caught. guy though. Is he? he's kind of like a grindy into dust. Dude. He's like a Khabib. Yeah, like a white yeah. muzzy. Yeah, he's yeah. a white Muslim. Frightening. Probably bites you. So he's from, just, yeah, I think, yeah. He's, yeah. I think he's a little. Chechen. Not be scarier of a human being than a white muzzy. So yeah, <laughs> it's true. That whole area is terrifying, dude. dude More, imagine I listen to that Black Flags book. Why'd you break it down? Uh, the what? One of their little neighborhoods. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> knocking on a white muzzy's door asking for milk or uh, dude, gas. I mean, first of all, I'm not going to speak for all of Muslim society, <laughs> but I would imagine if we took all of them, like, yo, who could beat their wives the most <laughs> without getting in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> <They're> probably. <clears throat> If you did like a serious Gallup poll, that, yeah. there's that on the top layer. You just what? like I just beat the fuck out of my. Not all, obviously, but yeah. like there's definitely areas. <laughs> you beat their wife. There. The most there's definitely areas. Must there's... be some with that beard because white dudes, in, <laughs> white dudes in Philly with that beard, yes. definitely, yeah, hundred percent hit. If it's you don't have a mustache with one of those beards, you are uh, yeah. absolutely beating the fuck out of your. Yeah, and you can also think <laughs> you if your wife's to. yelling at you and you're going like this. You probably get moments yeah. of clarity. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I should just fucking. That's, deck you're this just charging up. Like I grew this. I didn't think I get this beard this long yeah. probably deck this chick you, you just remember <laughs> you remember verses of the quran that are like <laughs> women should submit like, yeah, well god said it so dude their yeah. poetic flair is top notch too anytime they write letters it's like you will pay dude. for this in blood and souls and i'm like holy fuck that, black, that black flag book yeah matt put me on to this it's, it's the best. isis book so oh, good. oh yeah you were listening it's to so the car. that good. was francis shout dude. out francis how about zarqawi writing fucking Gay love letters to his <laughs> fucking dude. So his God, he's such a bitch ass. He's such a bitch ass. Mom was Did he want those out, or somebody got into his journal? Uh, he was writing like love letters to his sister that were like real. Oh whoa! Oh, that his was sister to his yeah, sister. Where he, he had a lot of time on his hands, so he was writing every other letter in different colors. Yeah, but pens, I was... <laughs> drawing flowers like a middle school flowers. girl. Dude, it Did was he have like nuts. the bubbly handwriting? It was yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, he was what? sitting there going when you. <laughs> 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 they fucking, <laughs> they're so gay. Second, you you call, they're you so it. gay, dude. <laughs> You're holding up just waiting for a bomb to smash through. Yeah, but he fucking... loved his mom. And, so, and I think he like had a romantic entanglement with his the sister. sister. I don't want to ruin the guy's I don't reputation. Put smut on. Yeah, I don't want to ruin the guy's <laughs> reputation. I was a little bummed out that like we just drone strike these dudes. Yeah. But 
then that, there's a part of me that's also pretty happy about that. <laughs> yeah. Like the like Jihadi John, you remember that guy? Mm-hmm. He was a British dude that went over there and was like beheading people for ISIS on oh, camera. Oh, really? He got he, he was got like drones. the first. Yeah, wasn't he, was, he the first guy? He was part of the Beatles, is what they're yeah, called. There's yeah, yeah, four yeah. British dudes. So you're, that way, went over. you're far. You're far ahead. No, I just remember that. I didn't get there. Yet. Okay, okay. But we drone striked him, and there's a part of me that's like, man, that guy should be tortured. Yeah. yeah. Like one of Traitor. them's one of them serving life in England. It's like kill him. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely yeah. execute. They don't do that, I guess. Rendition. Yeah, get him some. Oh, you're yeah. making him a martyr. Yeah, true. But so if he's fully got the download of yeah. like militant militant islam he's going like sweet yeah to death it's martyrdom or victory bro yeah that's i it. like i like the bin laden move where you just like snip a piece off him and dump him in the ocean allegedly you, allegedly <laughs> True. yeah that but then again you. most of these drone strikes are like he's gone yeah like yeah. you're not finding any trace. <laughs> he was vaporized yeah. the de- i looked up the wikipedia of jihadi john and they're like it was a literally a perfect drone strike no one else got hurt he got vaporized and uh yeah, it made me happy a little bit to be like, they're all like, we're mortar, we're martyrs, we're the, it's this devout thing, and then some guy with a computer's like, delete, Dude, delete, delete, delete that delete guy, it. delete yeah. that guy. I mean, it, also too, when you don't understand <laughs> technology, like there's got to be areas of that that have like way behind on tech. So they're like, what happened? It's like, dude, a missile just came out. Apparently, Something. a guy on a computer did. Yeah. They're probably like a guy in Arizona with like a yeah, joystick. Just, yeah, that was and my favorite thing. Is to explain that. They might, imagine explaining that to them though. Yeah. If you've just been like a, a shepherd, like a, had like a pastoral dude. existence, and all of a sudden you're like, there's a dude all the way over there that <laughs> yeah. hit a button, and that guy's dead. You're yeah. probably like, your mind would spin the craziest fiction. Also, the the that's just how good their speeches have to be to rally people against that. <laughs> that I'm telling you, it's blood and souls. It's nothing but like the fire, nah, the you fire of passion. You hit a couple but they're, all put, they're also putting like... <laughs> that's a pretty easy speech. <laughs> well, yeah. It's a real easy speech. You hit someone's <laughs> wedding, you're like, remember that? Too? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he used he used the um when they been tw- a couple red weddings. What, what, true. <laughs> what, was, what was the Abu? Who's what was the prison thing? Abu Grave. Oh, Abu Grave well, Abu Abu was the yeah. That's when he cut off that dude's head. They talked about the, Amer- no, uh, the American. No, that's not Abu Grave. That's Abu no, Grave. Bro- I'm saying he brought up Abu Grave in that speech. Oh, he talked shit on yeah, Abu Grave. Yeah, yeah. He was like, "You fucking pussies, where's your fucking zeal, you motherfuckers?" And he's cut off this like entrepreneur's head <laughs> the guy Berg, who was like trying to make towers yeah. he was trying to make communication towers everyone's like dude tech. get the fuck out of here yeah he was a tech nut the, the production yeah. quality of the terrorist videos were fucking the best Bro. yeah they were doing good it's the cages the, the remember the one where they just pulled rough. up like a, a Toyota Corolla they yeah. handcuffed him the steering wheel and then one guy just got on a knee with a rocket launcher no I don't yeah. remember that no oh, one watched dude. it no, <laughs> that I one did. was sick oh god and the drowning they dropped him in a fucking in a pool like an Olympic pool in a cage really because yeah. the I fire watching, one was insane the Germanian pilot was bad put him in a cage and then had a line of gasoline yeah, to it so they like shit and they filmed it like yeah it was well. a movie yeah 4K <laughs> great movie HD really 10, good. 10, 10, oh my god 4K really good. dude but they're still there's behind. Editing. Imagine that dude. dude at Best Buy being like, Mom, what are the specs on this camera? Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to use it for? Mom. <laughs> I'm shooting a film with my buddies. <laughs> a sketch? No, but they kind of, they kind of, the beheading videos, they kind of fucked with you. They didn't get, you didn't get to watch the actual like head come off. Oh, yes, bird, they did. They, with the bird, you don't about? you get to watch No, the they would thing. start cutting and then cut to just holding the head. No, you watch the American version. No, I was. Yeah, they must have released that. They went through the whole. Oh, they must have released thing. that, oh, released that oh, after. So but maybe bad. it was behind a paywall. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like they do with porn videos, you know, where they don't show it coming on her hey, face. Guys, nah, subscribe dude. if you want to see. Like the, the guy's about to yeah. bust, and then they cut. Nah, I'm about to blow up this mall. See if you want to <laughs> <laughs> subscribe. Yeah. And don't forget yeah. to like subscribe, and share, and don't forget to comment down below. <laughs> about five rockets. I'm about to eviscerate Jordanian intelligence. <laughs> that book is honestly the best. That's one of the best really lessons. Good. Francis Ellis, shout out. He oh, me. he recommended it? He took me aside. He said, look, listen to this now. I said, all right. It's only right. audio. Can you get a, a pamphlet? You get a re- no, you can, get a re- you can get a regular book. You probably get flagged, it's right? Not audible 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 no, no, exclusive. it's anti- I mean, it's just the story of ISIS. It's oh, not, yeah. Like, yeah like, it's not like ISIS is recruiting cool. Recruiting pamphlet. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> the first 10, you're no. in, dude. But no way. They're making a slight... They got, uh, they got yeah. Salman Rushdie. They got him. Yeah. Yeah. The Muslims are still firing, dude. Yeah. They would. He just went in for like a dinner and then they cut him up, drained No, him. he was giving a speech. Yeah. Oh, he was? Yeah. Yeah, you're thinking about the other oh, journalists. Oh, the journalists. Yeah. And I think people thought it was like a... 
I've heard people there thought it was like a theatrical performance. How'd they like, get Rushdie? That just happened, right? Yeah, he was yeah, just giving a speech, speech and the guy yeah. started stabbing him. No. Yeah. It's, he was giving a speech about why he should that? be allowed to say Islam's violent and a radical Islamist <laughs> stabbed him to death. Like, At fuck the fuck you, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, actually, there's a lot of us who are peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> Did he give this speech prior to, and that's how they knew he was giving another one somewhere? No, he wrote that book. Uh, no, I think he wrote the book. Oh. Oh. Satanic, Satanic verses. Oh, yeah, he was on the fucking list to begin Bro, with. He's been on the list. Iran, yeah. the, the state of Iran put out a fatwa on him. Oh. Yeah, he's yeah. the fucking guy that married the uh, the hot Indian chef. Uh, Salman Rushdie? Padma. Lakshmi? Padma. Yeah, that Padma. Hot- <laughs> That's how you're not going to be giving speeches anymore. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, she's a smoke and married. That dude's ugly as fuck. Yeah, bro. Right? Married a chef? Yeah, Pat. Oh, wait, Pat I got that right. That's she's how you get the finest in the That's you how you did. land a Bollywood star. Yeah. Fatwa? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, God. They're pretty. They're pretty nasty. That's a bad boy, awesome though. Time. It's like. She's like an angel married a fucking landlord. Boys. He's hideous. Look at this. Look at this one and two. <laughs> oh my god! It's a powerful man, dude. <laughs> no, nah, he looks good. Yeah, he's a powerful New York Times yeah. bestseller. Look, look at that guy, dude. He's he looks, looks like no one's pussy look harder than him, dude. He looks like a Lord of the Rings. <laughs> well, those eyebrows the point down towards, towards the body. He's he's over, dude. Look at those eyes, though. Those eyes pierce your soul. Dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, that book mine. And then look at that angel. Yeah, greatest yeah, hits in the world, dude. He's like he's like a Jason Bourne character. Yeah, he's got a fatwa <laughs> on him. Yeah, he literally got stabbed at, a, at like a, a convention out of like an action scene. It was like in Pittsburgh. Was it really? Where was? Where did he get stabbed? It's always going down in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's, yeah, they want getting stabbed at like an intellectual black tie event is the horniest you can get a chick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Pittsburgh, <gasps> yeah, god, high it's society but also in danger. High society murder. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking as hot as it gets. It's pretty good. Or chick, he just put French fries in his, in his casket. <laughs> it was in New. Oh, okay. Yikes! Damn, probably not that far from here. There's no security against this fucking with this guy. How did I that think, happen? I think he point. like lost some juge in his speeches. Like, so, so he didn't have security money? Yeah, yeah, he wrote yeah. the Satanic Verses like a decade ago. Yeah, it was like the 80s. So yeah, it was kind of like. Longer, I think like 30 years. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah, yeah I think you're yeah. right, actually. Because he was in full on hiding for a while. Like, he And was, they got every, they ghost. got a ton of people associated with the book. They were killing like Purdue, like Holy the publisher. Shit. They Damn, killed. Really? Yeah, they got a lot of people. They got a Japanese dude. A, what a partner got hit. I don't know, but that's dangerous. RIP. One of the partners got hit. That's a battle. That'll dude. get me activated. Did you want to get, <laughs> partners, you want to get my zeal going? Yeah. Partners go down. I'm just fucking partner trying through. to be like, this is, partners are lads. I want to start a new political party that's just Japanese people and Spanish, like Mexicans. Like, we got to come together and form a coalition. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Japanese and the Mexicans. Yeah. Holy yeah, shit. Imagine I want to that be the bo- I want to be their boss. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good party. Look, I'm yeah. in charge. Dude, Coronas. they're dropping Mexican or like Hispanic migrant workers. <laughs> and and karaoke. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Just, oh. It'd be a fun party. They are dropping the dude. Shout out Texas. Governor Abbott. Yeah. Just busting the boys up to bust them up, bro. New York and DC. <clears throat> just like see how it is see if you guys want to change your mind on this fucking open borders thing yeah, yeah what if they're wild. what if it does rule to have like nine million Mexicans? yeah they're busting them back oh they're busting them back yeah <laughs> bus with bus the boys. Wars. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting them back on the bus this is good for a new bus tour, i might outfit right? a pickup truck and just be like, follow me if you want to live <laughs> and just fucking just start a contracting company <laughs> 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 follow me it's only way come on dude <laughs> hop in my dodge Durango. we're going to home depot yeah. now <laughs> We gotta demolish this wall. <laughs> Dude, Megabus has to be killed. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, Megabus you got yeah. government contract. You got yeah. shut on going back and forth between Texas and, and New Chinese York. casino bus. You ever jump on one of those? <laughs> Woo! That's a ride. Are they sending the back? <laughs> the, Wait, fung, the Feng Wa bus? Yeah, the Feng Wa. It go, goes from. Uh, I think it got discontinued. The Greyhound in, uh, in Center City all the way to AC. I took it once. <laughs> Me and like fucking 90 year old Koreans. You took the Fung Wada AC? Smoking on. Where do they let you These off? They're fucking lulls. <laughs> <laughs> well, they let you off at like the, the entry to an AC. And these get little fucking. You know, yeah, these little you munchkins jump out get out before it goes into the water. Oh, they still the bus driver butts. hops out and starts selling your body in Atlantic City. <laughs> they're fucking nuts. <laughs> they don't buy any drinks. They just, they fucking, they're, they're it's like a fucking bus full of. I don't want to get in there. Have two. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. Yeah, they only have two. Yeah. But yeah, dude, that, it's so funny to think about Texas and New York just playing Pong with Latinos. Just like, <laughs> 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 No, we turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> you got to lose a few of them on the way, right? I mean, you can't even 
keep track of like fifth graders at the zoo. Well, that was the there's got to be a oh, couple left no, behind. The funny oh, yeah. Governor Abbott speech was like they're they're totally allowed to get off the bus, just not in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it stops at rest stops all over the place. They can yeah, get dude. off wherever they want. That's Con Air, dude. Yeah, <laughs> it is Con Air. <laughs> is there like a fat lady with a whistle around her neck counting them? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's funny because like it's funny because they just really want to work really badly too. They're There's like, number thirty nine. Hey, we don't know I'll be honest; these bus rides are probably pretty nice for them. Yeah, so, you just walk AC. for fucking yeah. the entire Central America. Now you're just AC'd out, sitting on a bus. Like, yes, things are going well. They're I definitely the getting AC, snacks. Well, they're, they're bringing the out now. They're revamping the uh, <clears throat> call it like the border family separation thing like the colonies they had they're bringing it back they're bringing that back with a vengeance really yeah biden fucked up on gas now like remember those fucking kids in cages they're, yeah. they're bringing that up big time now really yeah that's going to be the new thing the kids are still in cages people are now again yeah. outraged. Why? didn't biden's brother build those cages i think so i think yeah, i think, I think were, it was think contracted <laughs> to biden's brother no way I, I, hey chris He's the cage man. I, dude, I saw That's a guy, guy. I saw a guy today with a Biden hair sticker. <laughs> dude, that was so crazy. Yeah. Dude, I saw a guy park in a parking lot with a Biden hair sticker, and there was a part I was like 30% compelled to go up to him. Like, dude, you like, do you really fucking like that? Do you <clears> really <throat> did you really see those guys and be like, we're gonna turn this There's around? No yeah. way. That's how you, you have felt. To be out of your mind. What? You love Biden Harris. <laughs> No, I was voting against Trump. I wasn't like I wasn't putting That's Biden such a Harris. Chick move. But it, it's so, it's <laughs> That's so girl funny. stuff. It's so funny though to be like right, we need I'll personalityless go robots sticker. to fix our country. It's people are like we got to grow up and realize we need personalityless robots who are completely paid for by corporations and fixes. It's bullshit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I saw that guy's sticker. I almost literally, he was a doctor. Should have tackled him. I almost walked up to him. Like, Should have with the Nate. Take, 